when I got the offer from Otago, my son was 18 months old and um, I was breastfeeding him. So the main question was, how can I take him with me? At the same time, how can I manage my studies? Coming from a rural area and the society being very strong, having views about women going abroad with a child and married. And, and, so, and also within our community, it is very rare for a woman to go abroad and still live alone. So all these questions and the responsibility that I take was huge than what I can say in words. One of the difficulties was the time zone difference. So how do I connect to my family back home? So usually when he's ready for his school time, I will be getting here mostly for my weekly meeting time. We got into such a, a good team with the supervisors that they will say, oh, you might have to think about your chat time now. So that, and it was not an embarrassing or anything. It was more about inclusive, welcoming, and so warm. That's something that is really important for a person, staying away from family, from a different culture, and a different language speaking country. And I think that's, that's the highlight of the department, I would say. Very warm, welcoming, and inclusive. I looked at uh, predicting the workload at a primary health center. There are so many care provider roles in a GP center. And we also understand that there is a long queue of patients. Most of the patients are chronic patients. That's what our study found out. And my study specifically looks at how we can proactively manage this care with this team, rather than just with the GPs, and then bring more productivity in the healthcare sector. PhD journeys always have these ups and downs, and we are sometimes so caught up with the downside so it will be a bit more, more hard. So I think that's very important to have that support and to believe in the supervisors that they can foresee what we don't foresee. Achieving this PhD has so many answers that I used to ask to myself long back before I started my bachelor's. So in one way I would say, yes, PhD has shown me that I can go through some hardships do sacrifices and still can achieve what you have always dreamt of. It's a dream come true.